and welcome to my channel if you're a new subscriber. If you're one of my old subbies, welcome back. If you're new and you hear little bits of noises, I have a little one, hence the name One Beat Mama, but I like to kind of just give that little disclaimer because sometimes she can be a tad bit of a distraction, but homegirl is not going to stop me from filming my house, and that's, that's just what I want her to know. <laughs> but welcome to my channel. If you're here, then you know that today I'm going to be doing some of my favorite foundations for us brownies out there. I have been accumulating different foundations so that I could do this video for you guys because I think it's very important to have a variety of foundations because I have learned that, you know, they, they do come in handy in different ways. They're used for different days. Yes, rhymes. They come in handy for different ways. They're used on different days. What, what, what? <laughs> no, but seriously, I've really noticed that um, using different foundations, because I used to be a girl who only used one, so I have noticed that stepping outside my range and using different foundations has really paid off for me. So I wanted to wait until I got enough to be able to show you guys some of my favorites. The most beautiful thing about this video is that all of these foundations are super affordable. I'm pretty sure they're all drugstore. If they're not though, I will definitely be letting you know. Before we get into this video, if you're not subscribed to my channel, what, 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 please go ahead and subscribe. And you can do that by clicking that little red button right there. I know you guys have seen it before. If you do enjoy this video at the end, please go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up for me. And also, if you're feeling extra jolly because we're in holiday season, go ahead and leave me down a comment down below. But if you guys are interested in seeing some of these foundations that are my favorite, please keep on watching. Okay, so I was going to start off with the oldie but a goodie, but I'm actually going to start off with my hands down favorite foundation, and that is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I freaking love this foundation. If you guys want to look around the screen, I'll actually have the price of this foundation and where you can find it, but let's just get into what shade I am, and you know, that may help you if you're around my shade or close to my shade, lighter, darker, doesn't really matter. I always use YouTubers as a great, um, I always use YouTubers as a great tool as to what color I am. I actually just ordered Fenty Beauty. I'm so excited. I really hope it's my shade, but from the videos, it looks like it is. So I'm not going to tell you what shade I got. I'm going to wait for a video for that. So let's just get back into this. So in this shade, I am in the shade Mocha, and this is a great, great, great foundation for photos. Like the name hit it right on the nail because I feel like it is definitely a photo focus foundation. I absolutely love, love this foundation. I don't see kickback. I don't see any type of ashiness. It actually gives me a golden touch, so I love that. And speaking of no ashiness, I'm going to go into my next foundation, which I've seen this foundation on others, so I do know that it does work. I just did not get the right color for myself, which made me in return look ashy. And it's funny because the video I did this on was the video that I hadn't recorded my foundation. Maybe that's why. But on me, it didn't work, but I've seen it work beautifully on other brownies like me. So I definitely will be going to get my correct shade. But for today, I'm going to just be talking about this shade. This is the Milani Conceal um, Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. So it is a concealer and a foundation. This is in the shade Spiced Almond, which is number 12. If you want to take my word for it, I personally feel like I would have been a 13, but I think I got this off of Groupon or something, and it was on super sale. I was just being super pressica, and so I went ahead and ordered this, but type in Milani 2-in-1 Foundation, and I swear you guys will see how great this foundation really is, and that is why I wanted to keep it on my list. 
have a total Odie but a goodie. This is the Maybelline Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation. I am in the shade 355 in this foundation. This is probably, no. So my first foundation I ever really tried when I was really into makeup was the BH Cosmetics. Not their new one, of course. It was one of their older foundations, but that was the first foundation that I tried, you know, as a makeup guru. <laughs> but um, this was definitely second on my list. And this foundation will always go down as a go-to. They have also expanded their range of colors. So if you head to Walmart, you'll definitely see a wider range of colors. It used to be you were either $355 or $360 in this foundation. But um, they definitely have extended that range. So Maybelline Fit Me is probably one of the top. Okay, one of the tops. Take my word for this. If you got $6 laying around, go get this <clears throat> foundation. Next on my list is definitely one of my favorites, hands down, favorite foundations. The only thing I don't like about this foundation is that I am in between a 111 and a 112. So I typically have to mix um, this foundation with something because... 112 is just too dark for me and 111 is a shade too light for me but this is the Maybelline Infallible Pro Matte 24 hour foundation. I promise you guys I wore this foundation for a year straight. I mean nothing else on my face except for this foundation. That's how much this was a favorite for me. I definitely feel like it stayed matte. It stayed on. I would go out, whatever. It was true to me. And I love it because it just gives you this clean finish, which I'm seeing that a lot more in drugstore foundations. But for a year straight, I promise you guys, I could not find a foundation that I loved as much as, much as I loved this foundation. Next on my list is a foundation. I hate when I dig my nose like on camera. But next is a foundation that I want to say is probably not on the market anymore. You may can type it in like for Amazon or something, but definitely not at Ulta. So I'm not going to spend much time on it. But it's the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. And it looks like this. I got it when it was going out um, of the store. But I only paid $7 for this foundation, and it's normally, I think, $34. So this would be the most expensive foundation that I'm showing you guys. But like I said, I got it for $7, and I really do like this foundation. One thing I will say a con is that even when I went to look, I think this was about the darkest shade, and this is the shade 10. So I'm pretty sure this was the darkest shade. And not just in stock, like I seen like the chart. So this, hmm, Fiona was a little tricky and she really tried to play us. But luckily, I think I kind of have a universal brown tone. So sometimes I can get away with that one shade working for me. Almost done, y'all. Next is a really, really, really good affordable foundation, especially if you're just, say you go out of town, you forget your makeup, who does that? But let's just say, allegedly, no, not allegedly, what's that word people use? I don't know, but say you go out of town, you forget your makeup, this foundation was about $3.85, this is the Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup Oil Free Foundation. So, I purchased mine from Walmart, but of course, if your Walmart does not carry Black Radiance, you can always go to their website, and I'm sure there are probably like drugstores that carry Black Radiance, is there? Yeah, I feel like some CVS, no, Walgreens definitely carries it, but don't take my word for it. Um, but yeah, this is actually in the shade Brownie! Brownie is for my brownie! Brownies for my brownie. <laughs> so yeah, this is that foundation. Next, I have the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. I'm in the shade Coffee. This is a awesome foundation, especially if you 
are into LA Girl, um, you know, their pro concealers and stuff. I feel like the foundation works perfectly with their concealers, which is always great. So, yeah, this is the LA Girl High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. And when I ordered it, I was pretty skeptical because, once again, I didn't know if it was going to be in my shade. But I kind of just went off of what I was watching and what other YouTubers were using. And it ended up working. So this is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. Then last is my latest foundation that I have purchased. And this is the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick. Hey, <laughs> this is the foundation stick. I absolutely love this foundation. This is the foundation I have on right now. I love it because it can be a subtile foundation or it can also be a buildable foundation. But I find it a very, very easy and fast foundation transaction. That's one of my favorite things about it because you guys know I'm a mom. So sometimes I have to move pretty fast. So I love that this foundation just allows me to do just that. So before I got this foundation, I was pretty skeptical on how you actually apply foundation sticks. And I wanted to show you guys, I just used this brown brush right here. And that is what I apply this with. I do like to make sure that my face is moisturized. So before I apply this, I always put some type of oil or moisturizer on my face. But lately I've been using this Rose Gold Elixir Oil. You can check this out in my video about my October vibes. I'll leave that right here for you guys. But I like to put this because... I don't really know if foundation sticks are drying, but I have seen people struggle with blending them out. So I like to make sure that my face is nice and moisturized and ready like a little Caesars hot pizza. Yes. But those are all my foundations that I have to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this where I'm, you know, telling you something for a particular not skin tone because I don't want to make it like my video my videos are for a particular skin skin tones but I do know that I have struggled sometimes not exactly finding my shade but wanting to order online and not exactly knowing if it's gonna fit or whatever not fit if it's gonna match so I do know that videos like this come in handy for me. So that's why I wanted to help you guys out. But if you do like videos like this, please be sure to let me know. And I'll definitely get more out. So like maybe concealers that work best, setting powders that work best, eyeshadow colors, you know, just anything. So just let me know. But I will definitely see you guys soon in my next video.